Yo! Josh here, coming at you live from History Ofs and Reviews. Today we are checking out yet another Panasonic Super Right card, but the difference here is that it's not an E series, it's an F series. And this one looks a lot better. Um, we'll do a comparison somewhere in the video, but yes, Panasonic P2 F series, 32 gigabyte cards. My uncle let me borrow this one just for this review. It is really expensive. These, the F series and the E series, the, the F series are faster, way faster. They are, they are like with the E series, you'll have a, a few issues with with 4K, not so much with with 2K video, but with these, you can get 4K all day. They, the write speeds are so much faster. Um, I know that they have R series as well, and I believe R series are around the same price or just slightly higher than these um, on eBay. The prices fluctuate every day. And they don't come up on the market that often um, unless you go and buy them directly from Panasonic or you find a store that, that sells them. Um, but Panasonic P2 F-Series 32 gigabyte. there's, like, I can show you the back of these because I ripped off the little sticker here. I should have done that for the other one. The back of it looks like that. Basically just your information, serial, blah, blah, made in Japan. Um... Same size as the other cards that I did a review on. Way faster write speed. Don't know the exact write speed because it doesn't say it on the back I checked. I checked on online and got differing, you know, variances in the answers, which is to be expected. Um, you have the manufacturer speed versus someone who's actually used one speed versus someone else who's using it on a different computer, different camera speed. It's all different. It just depends on your equipment. It looks beautiful. I love the way this one looks. We're going to do the comparison right now. Here is the E-Series 32GB and the F-Series 32GB. As you'll notice, you know, this one is just the steel with black print, gold for the um, memory, black for Panasonic. This one's silver, silver, black. So it's kind of like flipped around a little bit. This one is obviously facing horizontally this one is vertical don't know why they changed that up maybe so you wouldn't get confused it's, e it's easier to differentiate if it doesn't have the sticker or some indication factor on i don't know um i don't i really don't know but this is really 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 suited for 4k for professional use news movies music videos video projects what have you and this one is for slightly less quality slightly less right speed but still it's it's beautiful they both present beautiful quality better than anything you'll get on your your dslrs um alternatives to film if you didn't watch my other one these are great great alternatives to film they're like an ssd drive a hard disk drive and an sd card all in one uh, very portable very small if you want like a size comparison let me see it goes right right to um a little bit above between my pinky and my ring finger I don't know if you can see it. So they're really small. And I have small man hands. Um, I have baby hands. Can't pick up cheeseburgers at McDonald's without using both hands. Even that's too big. But anyway, that's beside the point. Very, very fast cards. Comparison's over. Um, very fast card. Very beautiful. Elegant. Put together. Lightweight. Feels like a SATA drive. More so than an SSD. But if, it, 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 it's fast. Very reliable. Very nice to look at. Um, I watched, okay, comparison's not over, take that back, last thing before the video ends though. I watched a 4K shot on this one, and a 4K shot on this one. A little bit of stutter, not too much, and zoomed in, you could see, you know, pixels, just a little bit, and these were both rendered on the same settings, and non-rendered too, just playing it raw, and a, a, a little, a little bit of pixels, and I have my uncle look too. And versus, you know, you saw a little bit of pixels, but they were they were smaller, way smaller, because the right speeds, right speeds and quality go hand in hand. So, yes, definitely, if you have the money, invest in this. But it's not really it's not really needed. You can't really tell, but you can't really tell the lag on this one. You just really can't. Um, it's so subtle unless you zoom in and you you just barely see it, and and the pixels you zoom in, you barely see the difference. So yes, if you have the money, get always go for the best. Um, but if you're on a budget, definitely go for this. I mean, I don't care about 4K or 2K video, honestly. Um, 
I'm happy with 720 1080p, but I got these just in case. So the prices on eBay for for this one, they were about two weeks ago, 500 to 600 dollars used, 800 new. Then they went down to one guy selling his for 189, which is insane. And by the manufacturer itself, Panasonic are selling them used for 400. To 420 prices are subject to change so get them while you can they are pretty rare on the marketplace josh from Job and joshua's history of and reviews i am signing the f out thank you for watching hit that subscribe button